That's what you call a car. This vehicle right here, the original price of it, $925 for a brand new car off the lot. That was in 1950. A brand new car off the lot right now, I don't even want to talk about it, I'm going to get upset. You know, sinkholes have plagued our region for generations, but there's probably never been one that opened up in a worse spot than the one inside Bowling Green's National Corvette Museum. Hell before dawn, on February 12, 2014, surveillance cameras inside the National Corvette Museum caught something almost unbelievable. A sinkhole opened up underneath eight collectible Corvettes inside the museum's sky dome. Two days later, crews got a very close look at just how bad the massive sinkhole was and the underground caves that caused it. Here are the cars <laughs> that they were able to restore this one. That one is tow up. They still got the dust on it. Yo. This one was totally destroyed. I was crying. On April 9th, Kevin Helmenthaler was there to watch his donated 2001 Corvette Z06 come out. It had only been on display for 13 days. Crews say it was the hardest to recover, but he could still recognize every inch. Like they got all the. This one looked like before. <laughs> Still got all the dust. What y'all talking about? Hold on. Right there. I'll be on this one. This one. This one obviously couldn't be restored. Take a look. More than 30 feet down into what's left of the sinkhole that rocked the Corvette world. Get out of here. Hey, that is a really what is it? 30 feet down. 30 feet down. 30 feet down. 30 feet that's a goner. This is also wow. This is also a goner, as you can see. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at it from this side. General Motors advertising department wish they could buy. Despite a few dings and scratches, it cranked right up. That's incredible. And they were able to restore this one. original white walls. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, peep in the whip.
I'm getting accustomed to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little something different for me. Yeah, I done had a family for a while. This <laughs> Chevy. Chevy, I just stayed with the family. I didn't know how to open it. How do you get out of here? <laughs> oh, you get out, you press the button. So Corvette is really uh, extremely innovative when it comes to like advertising. So when NASA was doing all their trips to the moon back in the day, they provided the astronauts, astronauts, excuse me, with Corvettes um, as a means of advertising. And they have some of the original ones. We got the blue one. We got the white one. And as you see, the original ones were. Red, white, and blue. Very Americana. So not only was Corvette ahead of their time as far as cars go, they were ahead of their time and above and ahead of the curve when it came to like advertising and putting their name on it, which is pretty bad. So you call a car. Ooh. Babe. Okay, I want to introduce you to my future vehicle. Boom. How clean this is. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come around this way. Do you see that interior? We zoom. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's clean for absolutely no reason. Somebody cash at me. How much y'all think this costs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>